Dan. I'm here at the Pittsburgh Comic Con 2011. I'm here with Mav, who is the writer and colorist of Cosmic Hellcats. Mav, how's it going today? I'm doing all right. I'm just kind of sitting around working on the book today. Okay. And which, um, what, what issue are you guys on with Cosmic Hellcats, or what? It's a it's a web comic, it's but web you're comic also and 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 our issues are anthologies. So we are on issue four of the of the anthology series. So year four of the comic, six weeks in now. And how long have you guys, you and Max, been working on Cosmic Hellcats? This is the fourth year. Well, we did so before we started the web series. We did one comic that was just kind of a standalone um, black and white comic, and that was so that was done in basically March, February, March of 2008. So this is um, this is the fourth year, definitely fourth year. And what what is the reception for print versus web? What what, what do you find gets the most attention or it gets the most reception? Um, I'd say we, we, well, we probably, I mean, we, we, we definitely have more readers on the web than we have in print. Um, it's, we get more feedback at conventions, though. We get more pe- people to talk to us. Um, so, if you, you know, if you read the web, the web comic, you know, email us or write on, or comment on the stuff because we like hearing from stuff, people. And there, and there are some people who do, but we, get, we probably get more feedback here. We get more... Um, we get um, more readers there, so it depends on it depends on what what you consider the positive reception. Both are good, and they're, both are different. Um, I think it's a different kind of reader. I've been reading comics since I was seven, and to me, reading comics is very much a you know flip a page kind of paper kind of thing. Um, to where even with my comic, I don't like going click 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 click, and I it, it I find it monotonous, and I feel and I find it breaks the flow of the story, waiting for the page to load and everything. Um, not everybody's like that. I mean, some people are, you know, we have, now we have an iPad version. People, some people like it that way. I don't know. Um, um, so it's whatever works for you. Okay. We're we're happy to. I mean, I just want to tell the story, so I'm happy to send it to people however they want. Right. Now, what is the collaborative process between you and Max? How like from beginning to end? How does it work? Um. Okay. Basically, I start with an outline. Um, well, basically, at some point, he and I go and have a beer somewhere, and we figure out what the and we figure out what the you know what what the premise of the next storyline is going to be the next in the next year, um, and then I'll start like sort of building an outline of that, and then from there I might have I might have uh, let's see our our, our web comic is formatted such that any two comics make one page of the of the, pa- of the paper comic, so I will write the first ten weeks. Or so, so that's twenty comic scripts. Um, maybe only eight weeks, somewhere, you know, five to ten weeks um, of, of strips, and then I'll just sort of send it to him. And I usually don't write dialogue unless I have a really funny joke that I want to remember. I just sort of write basically what's going to happen um, and a rough breakdown of you know, I want this. I, I envision this being three to five panels, or something. and then I send it to Max. I email it to him. And he changes it. Um, he decides, oh well, I think this will work better if it's six panels or two panels. And and but basically, he draws, he draws what I was talking about, um, and then mails it back to me, and then I color it, and then I write the dialogue on top of, on top of that. There's it's a little tricky because there are. Um, for one thing, if you read our strip, you know, we, you know, we, we play this game with word balloons. Word balloons are part of the comic, um, which we've sort of gotten yelled at. Some people think it's kind of weird, but it's intentional. We have our word balloons have physical substance, so. Um, we have to communicate things like that, like, hey, I'm going to be talking a lot in this panel, so make sure you leave me plenty of open sky and, and that, that sort of thing. But for the most part, I write an outline, mail it to him, he draws it, mails it back to me, and I start coloring it and lettering it and um, get it posted in time for the deadline that week. Okay, great. And um, anything uh, upcoming in Cosmic Hellcast? Anything special going on? Or? Uh, well, let's see. This week... Uh, and this week being the last Monday and Thursday, we introduced. Uh, so these are our original four Cosmic Hellcats, and we've been introducing new ones. And some of the girls who will be here tomorrow and Sunday are, are part of that new team. So um, figuring out what uh, at the end of the last at the end of the last book at the end of issue three, the team was broken up, and now we've got all these new characters. So figuring out you know how they relate to each other and, and with it, that's that's what's gonna, what's going on for a while. And then this year, um, uh, this year's book is called this year's storyline is called The Kitty Code, and it's uh, it's um, there's gonna be some mysteries going on and figuring out um, one of their lead, one, their leader was thrown in jail. Um, the admiral who controls them was killed, or at least we think so. She got sucked into a black hole. So this, this year is going to be all about finding out exactly what happened at the, at the end of last year. Okay. 
and you know, there are we've introduced a mystery character who only communicates via IM, and you know, it's completely in shadows, and so there's, there's things like that, and you're going to be trying to figure out exactly where all those people come from. So uh, tell us about the Kickstarter project. So the first year we hit, we did it, we just had a very simple book. Um, last year was very very ambitious because we were doing we were doing this thing where we had a couple different shows we wanted to go to, not just Pittsburgh Comic Con, and we um, we started doing these anthology series which were not just one comic but it was the it was a couple of years together and there's photo shoots involved and there there was basically a lot of work that went into this and in order to get it make it worth it since it was going to be a $20 book a $22 book um, in order to make it worth it and able to do it I needed to get pre-orders so what I what I ended up doing was I went to kickstarter.com and basically said, hey, here's what I want to do. If you guys want to see this happen, you got to pay for it now. And um, I think uh, when, when we figured it out, I think our we figured that we needed to have at least, do you remember what our magic number was? It was like $900 or something like that. Uh, in pre-orders was our magic number, and we made about twice that. Um, so, I mean, not the most successful Kickstarter. Pro- I mean, I've seen people make $100,000 there. Um, we didn't. <laughs> we made 1500 1600 something like that. Yeah, but still, that's pretty impressive. It was, yeah, and it was great because it meant that, you know, I got I got the printing paid for, the con was paid for, and it, and it made this entire show last year. You know, there's no pressure. It's like, oh, look. Well, there was a little bit of pressure because now it's like, oh, God, now we have to finish the book in time. <laughs> um, <laughs> but we, but we, were, we were planning on doing that anyway, and it was it was really nice to get that done and be able to use, <laughs> it, be able to rely, rely on that. Um, I leveraged a lot. I mean, a lot of my fans from my photography business were already, you know, they they ordered things. So there's a lot of that. But also, it was nice to know that hey, there are people out there who want to donate to our, you know, who read our strip on the web and want to see it in graphic novel form. So that, so that was pretty cool. That turned out well, really well. And where can people uh, find your work or find the the, the comic? www.cosmichellcats.com is the web comic. From there, there's a link that says bookstore if you want to get the paper comic. So you can buy them from um, Indie Planet, which is an online comic store. Um, and then any comic convention we go to. Nerd Love! Nerd Love!